now we are going to substitute this so x cube will be e raised to z cube which will be e raised to 3z so x cube d cube by dx cube from here we can substitute it as d into d minus 1 into d minus 2 so this part now becomes d into d minus 1 into d minus 2 plus x square into d square y by dx square from here we can substitute it as d into d minus 1 and into y here it is y here also into y minus 2y equal to x square plus 1 upon x cube now from these three terms we are going to take y common and in the bracket we will have d into d minus 1 into d minus 2 plus d into d minus 1 minus 2 equal to x square plus 1 upon x cube now we are going to multiply these three terms so we get d cube minus 3d square plus 2d plus we also multiply these two terms we get d square minus d minus 2 into y equal to x square plus 1 upon x cube so we take d cube will be remain as it is then we take minus 3d square and d square so it will become minus 2d square 2d minus d will become plus d minus 2 into y and here we have we are substituting x equal to e raised to z so x square will be e raised to 2z plus x cube 1 upon x cube will be e raised to 3z which can be also written as e raised to z plus e raised to minus 3z so this is now our new equation so our new equation is d cube minus 2d square plus d minus 2 into y equal to e raised to 2z plus e raised to minus 3z so if you observe this equation this equation is of the form f of d into y equal to z we used to have a variable x here but now we are changing it to z the solution for this type of equation we all know is given by y equal to yc plus yp first we will find what is yc for yc we need an auxiliary equation auxiliary equation is nothing but f of d equal to 0 what is f of d f of d is this bracket which is d cube minus 2d square plus d minus 2 equal to 0 so from these two terms i will take d square common then i will get d minus 2 plus 1 into d minus 2 equal to 0 so from these two terms i will take d minus 2 common i will get d minus 2 into d square plus 1 so equal to 0 one root is d equal to 2 and the other root will be d square plus 1 equal to 0 so d square is minus 1 so th this is a square root of negative so it will be complex so it will be plus minus i we have these three roots so the yc will be c1 e raised to m1 x m1 is 2 so e raised to 2 x plus this is a complex root and for complex root we write it as alpha plus i times beta in our case alpha is 0 and beta is 1 so for complex roots, roots it, yc is given by e raised to alpha x alpha is 0 plus c2 cos of beta x beta is 1 plus c3 sine of beta x so this is our yc